Fjordland. You are stunning. You are incredible. You're beautiful. Magical. Ah, oh, here comes the sun. All right, so we're heading out of Queenstown, moving out from Shotover uh, country down to Frankton and then into Queenstown proper. And we are going to be taking the uh, boat, the Southern Discoveries boat, over across the way to Nicholas Point, I think. But this bike path is pretty sweet. Yeah. All right, you ready? trail system is pretty nice. It's really beautiful. Definitely be a, a cool day trip if you're staying in Queenstown proper. Well, a little bit of cloud up there. And on this beautiful trail. Oh, it's always a little bit hard to get back on the bike after you've been playing around for a few days. Oh, so that's another thing that I like about bicycle touring. It's like it just kind of forces you to get up and out. It's like even if you spend a few days somewhere doing the sightseeing, although we did not manage to fit in a canyon swing, bungee jump, or <laughs> jet boat ride. All right, better hang on here. It's getting fast. Ooh. Fun little trail. This place is a little bit popular, but we're determined to get a pastry here. I bet you recommended it. You and T said this is the place to come, so Ferg Baker, we're here. Oh my god, Darren's like, oh shoot. No, I don't need any more coffee because we didn't have time because we thought we had to be here way early for the boat. And then Darren's like, oh, you know what? Atlas does coffee. After you were like, no, 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 I don't, I don't need any coffee. I shouldn't have any more coffee. And then immediately, we have 20 minutes. That's time for coffee. That's enough time for coffee. for letting us get on that boat, on the Southern Discovery boat. That was an awesome ride. Really appreciate that. But even if you have to, to pay for it, it is well worth it. It's a nice little boat ride. Incredible scenery, as you can see behind us. And drop you off at a spot that is perfect if you're going south. Is that coffee? The hell? This is the wool shed over here. You guys, you know, you go up the hill, you are turning right. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's just climbing. They get to stay with the lake. We're losing the lake. Going to another lake. <laughs> Look at the sun. 
setting. Oh my god. Oh. All right, so we have crossed Lake Wakatipu. That was an awesome trip. It's beautiful. It took about, I think, 45 minutes to get across. So apparently this area is where 29,000... Oh, I got This is too steep. Merino uh, sheep do their grazing, and this is sheep that solely distribute their wool to icebreaker clothing. So the clothes that I'm wearing right here, it's the wool from sheep that graze right all in this area at uh, Mount Nicholas. So that's pretty cool. And I think you can come do like a farm tour where they probably show you how they shear and show you samples of the wool and stuff like that. I don't see 29,000 sheep, so I'm not sure where they're hiding, but it is a pretty big grazing area over here. Yes, yeah, so I think we got a few hours and it's just going to be a steady climb up to Mavora Lake. So it should be really nice on this, once again, gorgeous day. So thank you, universe. Thank you, weather gods. Really appreciate that. <laughs> the air is just like so clear and clean. Like I feel like I can see that mountain like it's right in front of me. It doesn't look real. <laughs> Looks like someone has taken a photo and just put it there. Tiano tomorrow. But God, get on this trail. It's just amazing. It's like it's like riding through a painting.
of Queenstown, Southern Discovery's boat, sailed across. And now we are on our way to Mavora Lakes. We're going to camp there tonight, so dock campsite. And then tomorrow we're headed to Tiano, which will actually mark the end of our cycling in New Zealand. Which kind of seems fitting, because that's where I lived 11 years ago. I was there for almost a year working. And so it's kind of like full circle, going home kind of, yeah, kind of feeling. about the little ramp here and tipping over. It's just not worth it. Darren went to go. Darren went to go check out this hut up here. Al Alpine hut, what's it called? Bullock. It's called Bullock Creek Hut. And it's been privately uh, restored, but they're only allowing day use. Boo. <laughs> but no, that's awesome they restored it, but that sucks because we want to stay there. Yeah. No. Onward to Mavor Lakes. Wow. So beautiful. There we go. So we made it to the Mavora Lakes. Wow, this is a spectacular spot. It is so beautiful. the set mark. You look like you're a gangster. Oh, left eye. It's like... Whoosh. Last day of camping, maybe. Yeah, maybe. In New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. Yeah, it was a really nice sheltered spot, actually. And no sand flies, because it's too cold! <laughs> Blue sky over there! Oh, but not over there! <laughs> I think it's going to come and go today. And tonight it's supposed to... Come in a little bit. I think a little bit of sleety rain and snow. Oh, still beautiful. And nobody here. I think we heard one car come in last night. That's it. No one else is crazy enough to be camping in winter. <laughs> yeah, just add a couple more layers. How many did, layers you got? They, what do they always say? No bad weather. Just not prepared or whatever. Not the right clothing. Not the right clothing. Yeah. It's true. Or that's that's just what they tell the tourists. <laughs> There's no bad weather, just the wrong clothing. <laughs> well, this is just a vest, yeah, yeah. jacket, yeah, that, shirt. That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah. Okay, you don't have a long sleeve under there? No. All right, that's not too bad. Hmm. How many layers do you have? Well, I have two layers of gloves. I have my icebreaker underneath. Oops. These are great because you can touch the screen. And then I have my sweet bond trigger gloves. That's okay, what my rain jacket, jacket This sweater that I was wearing 11 years ago in New Zealand. <laughs> Still have it, this one. Icebreaker long sleeve. Oh, that's my buff. And then also an icebreaker t-shirt mm. underneath there. So we've got four that's layers. Four. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, all right, it's time to roll. So we're just gonna be on Tiano for probably, I think, what did we say, three or four nights? Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, going to Milford Town as well. We're going to take a bus to Dunedin. We'll just be in Dunedin for a night. Want to check some stuff out there. We're going to stay with a warm showers host. And then we have to bus to Christchurch and we leave two days later. So I have a feeling that besides roaming around town, this might be the last day cycling in New Zealand. Wow. Crazy. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It is windy, so we're going to be battling the wind today, but oh my god, if it stays clear like this, it'll be another awesome day. <laughs> we have an insane tailwind right now. I don't even think we noticed. <laughs> we're like, God, this fall. 
fall splat is like super fun. Like we're just flying downhill. Woo. Now we have a headwind, sidewind thing. Ah, I keep switching. Oh my god, oh, a break. It's a pretty intense wind. Welcome to Southland, Fjordland, just over yonder. exactly what we intend to do. <laughs> Avoid fatigue. Stop in Tiano. We're taking that advice. We'll take a nice little break and then we'll be ready to go when we get to Vancouver, Canada. We're going to cycle the coast all the way back home. Well, here we are back in Tiano. Yeah, I'll move over. Wow, this place looks different. Cute little Tiano. I missed you. That's a great place. I love it here. It was so different for me to go from living in overpopulated suburbia to come to a town that only has about 3,000 people. I really enjoyed my time there. But it's got everything you need, you know? Everything you need is right here. Ah, best place to get a bite in Tiana right there, the Red Club Cafe. Yeah, I've seen that, they're closed. Maybe just open for dinner? Hey, 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 hey. Hi, Dewey. I know, what is this thing? Ah, just a beautiful morning in Tiano. While staying in Tiano, we got up to a few things. Like riding our bikes around town, against the backdrop of the beautiful Southern Alps of Fjordland. We are now at the Tiano Bird Sanctuary. <laughs> What do you think of the day? Where are we going? We're going to Milford Sound, baby. <laughs> We're going to see some waterfalls and fjords. <laughs> We've been waiting 30 years for this. Oh, look at how beautiful it is. Yeah, they're like, how old are you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've been waiting 30 years.
right, so we have made it to Milford. It was a gorgeous drive. If we had time, I would have loved to have ridden it here. A good amount of traffic still on the road and no shoulder, so good to know. And it's not an easy ride, but God, it's gorgeous. I think worth it. It was fun driving to you before it's got so much knowledge. Red!